Hey guys, welcome back to Pops and Props. So today we're going to be catching up on a few packages. So let's get right into it. So the first package we've got here is coming in from K-Dog and Fish, and there are some really sweet pops inside of this box. Let's just crack this thing open. So the first pop we've got inside of the box is a pretty obscure Funko Pop. This is the Tall Man from the movie Phantasm. I was really stoked that they made this pop because Phantasm came out somewhere around the 1970s and it's a pretty weird horror movie, but that's what I enjoy. I enjoy the weird Funko Pops. And honestly, there's not a whole lot going on with this pop itself. I really do enjoy how he's holding the orb. I know there's a specific name for it, but I just can't think of it. But I must admit, it's a pretty clean looking Funko Pop. I like how the suit looks and I like the slick back white hair. It looks exactly how he looks like in the movie and that's what I'm happy about. And I briefly want to show you guys the back of the box because it's got some really nice artwork on it. They actually based this off of the poster, I believe, but this is what it's looking like I think it looks really nice so the next pop in the box is actually a pop from the boys Funko Pop set this is Soldier Boy. Recently, I've been re-watching The Boys, and I must say, it's one of my favorite superhero shows of all time. And I also really enjoy Jensen Ackle in The Boys Season 3. He is the guy who plays Soldier Boy. He's also in another TV show called Supernatural, but I really enjoy any character that he plays. He is such a badass. Was that the first swear word on the channel? Oops. Anywho, I really enjoy all the little details on the super suit, and I also really enjoy that he's got the shield on his one side. And just by looking at it, you can tell it's Jensen Ackles. They did a great job popifying the character. So next up, we've got a package coming in from Pop Collectibles, and there is a very sought-after anime Funko Pop inside of this box. And I don't want to keep you guys from the surprise, so let's get this thing open. And so guys, the pop I've got inside of that box is the GameStop exclusive Gear 5 Luffy, and this pop is looking beautiful. This pop is quite a step up from the other Gear 5 Luffy that we got. And honestly, I think it's the mouth that does it. The mouth adds so much character to the Funko Pop, and it looks so much more like he does in the show in that moment. I also really enjoy how he's got his hands on his face and his body. It really encapsulates how excited he is in the moment. For a quick comparison, I actually went to go grab the other Gear 5 Luffy and this is what they look like side by side. You can really tell the differences. The mouth does so much and it looks so much better compared to this one. It looks a little too plain. So I would recommend if you want to pick up one of the brand new Luffy Funko Pops, this is the one to go for. So last but not least, we've got another package coming in from Pop Collectibles and this box is a little bit bigger. Inside of that box are some Pop Shield Armor Pop Protectors and I ordered these to protect some Funko Pops that I want to get signed over at Fan Expo. These protectors are super sturdy. And they've also got a really nice magnetic lid so it's easy access to slip your Funko Pops inside and outside of the protector. Well guys, those are all of the packages that I've got for today. I quite enjoyed this unboxing because I got some really sick Funko Pops. Please let me know guys, what was your favorite thing that I unboxed here today? I think I would have to pick the Tall Man, but that Luffy is a pretty close second. As always guys, please don't forget to do those three things, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.